Uh, my name is Saruni Maina. I work for Flutterwave. Uh, Flutterwave is a payments company. So in short, what we do at Flutterwave is we enable global businesses and merchants as well to be able to process payments, whether this is accepting payments or doing payouts within 30 different currencies across the globe. Okay. Uh, how do you view uh, fintech impacting Africa, especially Flutterwave? Well, at Flutterwave, we believe that we make Africa feel like a country. And this is one thing that we really envision and try to bring out in how we look at payments and fintech in general. So our goal is to ensure that within Africa itself, we are able to do transactions. Could you imagine if you were able to send money from one corner of Africa to the other corner without really having to go and jump through hoops. So for us ourselves, we have both business products and some consumer products. And our consumer products actually run on our rails that we also serve our business uh, customers. So for example, one product that I personally use and I'm very excited about is our Send app, which allows you to send money from around the world to anyone within the continent of Africa. And that is what I envision being the, uh, the future of fintech within the continent, whereby anyone around the world and within the continent as well is able to send money in an instant. Okay, uh, thank you for that. So uh, maybe in your own perspective, uh, next 10 years for fintech in Africa, how will it look like? So the next 10 years will include a lot of collaboration. So what I predict is there's going to be a lot of mergers within fintech products. You know, right now we are at the stage where a good number of fintech products are country-based, with the exception of Flutterwave, of course, which we consider ourselves global based on our operations. But a good number of fintechs are actually um, country based and what the future will actually bring is we'll see a lot of collaboration and interoperability within these fintechs and within these payment methods. So a good example to give is with mobile money payments. So we have M-Pesa in Kenya, we have MTN Momo in a number of countries, but for these payment methods to also be interoperable, they need players that come in and create these rails. And those players are people like Flutterwave and that is why we believe we are the future and watch out for the next 10 years. Okay, uh, so we'll do three quick fire questions. Hope you're ready for them. Uh, your first paycheck, what did you spend it on? Uh, my first paycheck, I took myself on a holiday. <laughs> In Kenya, we love to say that Narudishia Mwili Shukrani, which usually translates it's thanking yourself. <laughs> That's ah. what I did. Uh, okay, uh, so what's your favorite food? My favorite? Food, food. Oh, my favorite food is Chapo, and I've been trolled on Twitter for it. So I take this very seriously. Okay, uh, the last question is, the craziest thing you've spent money on? Um, I haven't done this yet, but I've actually already paid for it. But the craziest thing that I want to do with my money is jumping out of a plane. So pray for me as I go and do that. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Enjoy the summit. Uh, cheers.